What's up guys, this is Luke with Kenton Industries. I'm here with my colleague James and we're at the Kenton Industries gun range. We got a really cool video for you guys today. So today we're gonna to be talking about our flagship product, the ballistic strip. We're gonna be talking about one, how to get measurements, two, how to install it, and three, we're gonna show you how it works out here in the field. So our ballistic strip works exactly like our popular custom turret. It's a laser engraved decal or sticker that wraps around your existing factory turret. And what it does is instead of getting a laser engraved aluminum knob, again, you're gonna get that decal that wraps around and converts it to a custom yardage. With thousands and thousands of different scope models out there, we don't have blank turrets for every model. So that's why we have this uh, great option uh, offering the ballistic strip. So as long as your scope has some sort of target turret and a flat surface, not tapered, then we can fit our ballistic strip on. Now, as you can see from our website, we have two different type of ballistic strips here. We have two different, our two different options here in front of James. We have our, what we call sticker, and we have our semi-permanent one. Now we offer these two different ones for, for um, really, what's needed by the customer. The sticker one is uh, easily removable and installed. So it's guys that are really using it for like a one-time hunt or a change in elevation or temperature. The semi-permanent, just like it sounds, it's pretty permanent once that sucker's on, it's not coming off out in the field. So today we're working with our Ruger Precision chambered in 22. We have on top a primary arms GLX model. It's a four and a half to 27 with a 56 front objective. It is a 0.1 MRAD click value with 10 mils per turn. So it has 100 clicks. Um, most scopes out there are gonna have um, a exposed target turret with set screws holding it on the sides. Every turret though could be different. In this case, we do have those three set screws. So James is gonna show us how to get proper measurements when needed by you as the customer. Again, I just want to emphasize that we do have measurements on most stuff out there, but there are a few oddballs, especially the older stuff that we just don't mm -hmm. have measurements for. So James is going to start showing us what's needed um, for the measurements. Um, so go ahead and loosen those three set screws, James. <clears throat> now the two measurements we'll need today and always is the height and the diameter of the factory and grave surface. And what we do in our program is we convert that to circumference. So we make sure that the strip fits nice and uh, snug as it wraps around your, uh, wraps around your turret. In uh, this case, this uh, scope has a zero stop too, which is a nice feature. So James here is first measuring what looks like the height. And he's gonna to get top to bottom. Again, we're gonna get the factory engraved surface. We do not wanna get the neural because that's not where the strip's gonna go. Now we do recommend using a digital caliper so we can get, again, very precise measurements because uh, you know if you're not getting us good measurements, the strip's not gonna fit properly and the tracking is gonna be off as you dial the turret. And there's gonna be our uh, outside diameter. All right, so we have a pre-made strip based off of those measurements. Um, we have, again, the sticker and the permanent. Today we'll be installing the semi-permanent for you guys. So James is gonna start working on that. Now, what we do recommend putting the ballistic strip on is taking the turret, the factory turret off uh, at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to install it that way um, than to trying to install with the turret on top of the uh, scope. Um, now here's something that's real important. If your scope, if your turret is either broach cut or has a zero stop, the placement of your zero has to be as close as possible to the marked zero on the factory turret. If your scope turret does not have a brooch cut underneath or has typically screws on the side then it really does not matter where you put that starting zero for the ballistic strip so he's screwing down the three set screws and he has a zero lined up here well so it works properly with the zero stop on this particular scope 
usually you don't have to pull the set screws all the way out before you can pop off the turret by the way um, obviously it'd be a pain if those uh, screws fell out and dropped on the floor that's happened to us a few times James yeah oh yeah <laughs> So again, we're working here with a 22. We have the CCI standard velocity subsonic at 1070. Now, most of the time you will get an additional what we call top label. It's for reference on what the strip was made for, especially for our customers that are getting a lot of different strips. You want to keep track of which strip is associated with which turret. Um, again, so we're rocking the 1070 CCI's 40 grain. Now, as you guys know, most guys are running a 50 yard zero on a 22. We do have here a 100 yard zero. And really the reason why we decided to go with that is because it gives us a bit more distance. All right, so we got the ballistic strip installed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test and show you guys how it works. Um, we have it already, as I mentioned, sighted in at 100 yards. So James is gonna double check the uh, zero. Now we do have a target way out there at 260 yards. So once he double checks the zero, we'll be good to go and rock 260 for you guys. So uh, James, when you're ready, let's uh, go ahead and shoot that 100. All right. All right, so we verified our 100 yard zero. Now we're gonna go ahead and shoot at 260 yards. As you can see here, James is down to 260. Again, our strip is in 10 yard increments and uh, we're ready to go. All right. Alright, so there you have it. There's our ballistic strip in action. We showed you how to get proper measurements, how to install it, and then of course shooting out to 260 yards today. These strips run at just $54.95 and include a duplicate, so you'll get um, two elevation parts as well as a top label just in case there's any issues installing it or it rips. Um, thanks for watching and feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. We'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.